Game of Thrones fans are desperate to see who will end up sitting on the Iron Throne. After years of investing time watching the story unfold, one keen Reddit chooser may have spotted what is coming in Season 8. It all surrounds the Night King, played by Vladimir Ferdick, who is about to rage war in Westeros. Season 7 saw him storm past the wall with his army of whites after gaining one of Daenerys Targaryen's, Emilia Clarke, dragons. Although he looks unstoppable at the moment, Jon Snow, Kit Harrington, is currently trying to assemble his own force which is the only way to put an end to the Night King's wicked ways. Now, one red chooser seems to have worked out how the mythical villain will be stopped, despite having more numbers than the humans. A 1400 wrote, as we all know, the army of the dead has finally arrived, and it wouldn't be exaggerated to say our heroes are outnumbered about 5 to 1, but does it really matter? For a difference in numbers to assure victory, the numbers would have to be really high or for both sides to have equal capabilities. Besides the numbers, the army of the dead have infinite stamina, some giants and a dragon, but the living have a supply of weapons that can undead with ease large ballistas and two dragons, plus horses and the ability to form strategies. When you take it all into consideration, the undead army doesn't have that much going for it, especially so if we think Stannis' victory over the wildlings where he was similarly outnumbered. The forum user went on to suggest the Night King wouldn't wait that long to attack without a solid plan of action. However, the Game of Thrones fan went on to suggest the zombie leader would most likely storm King's Landing first, where he would be greeted by a ghost town. With Cersei Lannister, Lena Headey, cowering in some Westerosi corner somewhere, his real enemies, Jon, Daenerys and company, would be creeping up on him. All of his enemies are gathered at Winterfell for the final battle, all besides Cersei who will most likely get the Golden Company and head somewhere far away to wait out the war. Will the Night King get an almighty surprise as he heads to the capital to win the war? This comes as a different theorist believes they have worked out why the White Walkers wanted to storm Westeros anyway. During the long night, the Starks agreed to never leave Winterfell in order to keep the White Walkers at bay. However, the mythical pact was broken during Robert's rebellion. Did the Starks cause the entire events of the series? Game of Thrones will return to Sky Atlantic next year.